Uh, uh, uh. Good morning everybody, what's chilling dudes? Welcome back to another episode of Resonant Rise 3 on the Hypermind Modded server. Currently we are on with no one because no one likes me. No, no, no. Because I'm recording at a time when everyone's awake at, at work or something. I'm... What's chilling dudes? It's Trouble here. In this episode we are going to be making some Tartarite tools because I've got Vulcanite and I do want some better tools, faster, more durable tools. And we will also be working on a laser drill for Mine Factory Reloaded to replace our quarries we have in the mining world. And last of all, we'll be working on an Emmy system because I've got a basic Emmy system over there, and I would appreciate some bigger, uh, bigger storage, auto crafting, auto inscribers proper, etc., etc., etc. Set forth, blah, Latin, etc. Shut up, Torbo. Okay. Uh, Let's talk about this thing which is right in front of me. A giant big reactor's steam turbine. And yeah, I've been working a lot off camera, just trying to make this work for you guys. It is complete. It is amazing. Uh, all of the sides are turbine glass and that took a little bit. Yes, it's got 37 blocks of endurium. It's got 80 rotor blades. It is a big, big setup. It accepts 2,000 millibuckets of steam per tick. Super, super cool, and it is only producing 10.5 thousand hours per tick. Only, quote unquote. The maximum would be about 22,000, uh, 22, 23,000 hours per tick, but it's not currently producing 2,000 millibuckets of steam per tick. Reason being, if we go down here to the setup, this retrieval node, this liquids retrieval node, I don't think it is taking the full 2,000 uh, millibuckets of steam per tick that all of these steam boilers are producing. So I'm going to have to add some extra speed upgrades here because there is a buffer of steam in each of these boilers. Like that. See how it's increasing? It shouldn't be increasing because all of those steam boilers create 400 millibuckets of steam per tick. Apart from that, everything is working fine. Uh, what's being produced turned into charcoal. What's being uh, held up in the buffer over here. Super, super cool. And all of these are being filled up with charcoal, which is really, really cool. I need to give a big shout out to Dolomeister on the server because Dolomeister created a community setup in which uh, lava is created for anyone who wants it. And it's being produced in this ender tank. And I've been using that lava to create obsidian with his ign uh, igneous extruder. And with the obsidian, I've been putting it into this chest over here, this setup. Put the obsidian in here. The sag mill is producing pulverized obsidian. Then I'll, I put lead in this induction smelter. And then uh, with lead, it creates the hardened glass, which I use to create the turbine glass. So big shout outs to Dolan. Uh, link in the description if you'd like to go check him out. He does some pretty cool stuff in his uh, Resonant Rise 3 series. Sweet. That's working really well though. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Alright, let's go make some Tartarite tools. If you are unfamiliar with the Metallurgy mod, and I'll admit I was uh, when I first started messing around with it, Tartarite is an alloy between two ores, two fantasy ores which you can find in the Twilight Forest or the Mining Dimension in our mod pack. Uh, ad, uh, ad, adamantine. <laughs> adamantine uh, ingots. I remember those from my RuneScape days. And also Atlerus. Atlerus ingots. It's a combination of those two super super fast and I've created some in this Tinker Smeltery already uh, let's switch it to Tartarite sweet and yeah it is the top tier thingy above in the Tinker Smeltery when you add this to the extra now if you add the extra tick extension the expansion of the Tinker Smeltery it includes metallurgy alloys and Tartarite is the best it's got a mining speed of 15 it's got a durability of 1600 uh, compared to our Vulcanite pickaxe. Which Vulcanite is a another metallurgy metal which you can find in the Never. It's got a durability of 1200 and it's got a mining speed of 10. So this Tartarite pickaxe head should be a lot better than what we currently have. I've been waiting for a long time to create the Tartarite. Alright, I think that's how you do it. No, is it the other way around? Oh gosh. How do you do it? Uh, like this. Okay, that's how you do it. 
Ooh, Tartarite. Oh, what does that... 2,571 effective durability, 5,707 added? Uh, oh, bugger. I just realised I left the uh, other Tartarite things back in the Tinker Smeltery. I just had to relog really quickly. All of that. Random things. That inventory sorting mod, I might have to remove it because it is really irritating when it comes to, for example, the Tinker stuff which you just saw. Hey. Alright. Let's do the rest. Tart. Oh. Server. Hello. Server. There we go. It's probably my internet. My server internet. My se my server internet. My New Zealand internet. What? Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, what is that? Attack 7.5 hearts and oh, 13, 15. Bang. Sweet. Let's do the rest of it really quickly, and then we'll figure out what is happening at the very end. Ah, uh, going to need a vulcanite. Vulcanite. Hello. Vulcanite, bang, and bang, bang, down to right, down to right, oh baby, alright let's see, uh, mining speed is 15, the mining, <gasps> the down to right pickaxe, mining speed is 30, jeez, holy cow that's fast, how fast is it, um, Okay, it's not too fast in terms of factory blocks. It's kind of cool that my pickaxe is also self-repairing, at least a little bit. Let's see what it's like in terms of stone. Is it instant mine? Uh, no, it's not instant mine. Oh well, a lot faster anyway. Sweet to date. Now, I would like to create a laser drill from my factory reloaded, because the theme I'm uh, yeah the word is theme the theme I'm going with for this series I did say it but uh, is self-sustaining and we've got Kiwi Corp sustainable energy I feel like with the energy we're currently producing which is 10k RF per tick plus uh, I need to go add the speed upgrade as well which I'll do really quickly at uh, 20,000 RF per tick we'll be able to handle a laser drill and that way we won't need to move around the laser uh, sorry, no, not the laser. We won't need to move around the quarry in the quarry world. We'll just have to, we only have to rely on the laser drill. I'll be a little bit slow, but with a chunk loader, I think it could produce a lot of resources. Sweet. Let me quickly upgrade the steam, the uh, retrieval node for the steam turbine. And also let me get the resources required for the laser drill. And I'll be back in a bit. Just played. Ah. Oh. It's not the same. No, it's not the same as a normal crafting bench. No. I have to make sure that everything's lined up properly. Boots, helmets, and I forgot to do this. Leggings. There we go. Bang. Yes. The good armor. And we'll just. Uh, like. What? Okay, I look. Okay, I look better than. Yeah, I look better with this helmet, even though it's got like grey in the front. I look better with this helmet than the other one. If you look at the other one, it looks so stupid. Look at this one. It's like, where, d where does it start, where does it end? <laughs> I don't know, that helmet looks really weird when you put it on you. Whereas this one looks awesome. Oh my gosh, I look so cool actually. Tartarite armor. Oh baby, we'll be using this armor for the moment though, because it's got all the enchantments, which the uh, advanced enchanting table has over here. So let's go chuck all of this stuff away. And I just got two test racks because that's what we're going to need to create the mining drill. Late mining drill. I keep calling it a mining drill, which I think is technically right, but no, it's a laser drill. Right, how do you make these? This looks really expensive. How do you make the glowstone illuminators? 500 energized glowstone. How do you make energized glowstone? Huh? Wait, laser drill, glowstone illuminator, need 500 of this. Huh? Glowstone. I guess you put glowstone in here? A block of that is... Okay, so a block of glowstone. This is something I've never done before. Block of glowstone. Uh, let's... 
Let's get the wrench really quickly. I want to go see how much this glowstone creates. I think it makes a thousand. Yeah, okay, a thousand. That's energized glowstone. Ah, gosh. That way. Then, what do we need? What else do we need? Glowstone illuminator, illuminator frame. Uh, what did we need for it again? Signalum. Do we have any of that? We don't have any of that. How do you make signalum? Bugger. 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 Signal and blend. Copper. Silver. Right. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go make the thingy above and I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll see you when we're making the laser drill itself. Okay, I've been looking up the laser drill. Oh, I made the laser drill and then I was looking up the laser drill pre-charger recipe. Oh, why am I holding that? Bad hatchet. Stay. Stay right there. Alright, for the laser drill pre-charger, you need pink slime, and I had no idea what pink slime was, so I just had a quick look, bang, pink slime balls, and it doesn't say anything about how to obtain them, and so I, I looked it up, and you need to get pink slime via killing pink slime, obviously, but in order to get pink slimes, the mob, you need to place down pink slime in the world, and then you can grow them with some sort of syringe, some sort of slime growing syringe or something which one is it growth sir i think it's called the growth syringe if i'm not mistaken you need to grow it up with the growth syringe and then you need to also get the pink slime in order to spawn the pink slime mob with a slaughterhouse uh it's all complicated but uh i guess we're gonna go do it all right so the p the slaughterhouse i was looking at it yeah creates pink slime in the left and meat in the right what the pink uh, what the slaughterhouse's main function is to create liquid meat, which can be made into meat ingots. So instead of making the laser drill today, I think it'd be nice if we made the meat ingot factory, which the meat ingots are edible stuff basically, and it's going to go replace my bread food source currently. I'm getting bread from the village over there, taking wheat, chucking it in here, making it pretty cool stuff. Let's make the slaughterhouse now, or well, the meat factory thing anyway. Right, so I think we're going to be using these cows over here for the slaughterhouse and whatnot. The slaughterhouse will kill basically all the cows here, but we also need to make a few other machines, such as a breeder, and breeder is obviously exactly what its name represents breeding so the cows I will need to go make that up yeah um, and and uh, I think it needs wheat in order to go grow the cows which means uh, let's go even further into it we need to go make a harvester to take on wheat and then also to get the wheat we and well to get the wheat well we'll need to go harvest a wheat field I don't think we need necessarily the industrial fertilizer but it'd be nice if we actually took some of that over there um I don't think we need the industrial fertilizer from here no we won't use the industrial fertilizer which we're using for this tree farm okay I'm gonna go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the breeder machine and also another harvester and then we'll get to work on the meat factory. Alright, I've got a variety of mine factory reloader machines. I have a breeder, which of course is for the cow, a, a slaughterhouse, which is of course to kill the cows, harvester, which is to harvest the wheat. I've got an iron hoe actually. Hopefully this works. Yup, it works. A lot of vanilla um, tools like uh, axes and whatnot cannot be used, only in crafting recipes. And that's a part of the, I think it's called the Iguana, Te uh, Iguana Tweaks mod. The Iguana Tweaks is uh, the mining leveling for the pickaxes and whatnot. I think it's, I think that the uh, pickaxes and whatnot cannot be used because of that mod anyway. Alright, we need some water here, it looks like. I forgot about that. Water. Hello, water. There we go. Right, water. That's a perfect cross. Oh, baby. Let's get the hoe, meh, 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 and the wheat I got from the village. 
It's kind of cool. Re uh, nah, blah. It's called living near a village. What is? Huh? One second. All right. Voodoo's at my place, and we're going to be making a blood moon ritual because we haven't seen any zombies at night, so we kind of want to go summon some hostile mobs. First time I've ever seen something like this for a blood moon ritual. Is that it? Voodoo has flight. I need to go get some flight sometime. Yep. Just gonna see if we can summon some mobs. Ooh. Fancy. <laughs> yes. Ooh. This looks awesome. It's red. Oh, it's all obsidian. Yeah, mob still spawn. Die, witch! I want to fight your wither cat. Hello, wither cat. Oh dear. Hey, wither cat. How you doing, wither cat? Hey, you want to be my pet, wither cat? Hey, you want to be my pet? You want to be my pet? Okay, this skeleton doesn't want to be my pet. Hey, yo. Hey, hey, kitty. This way, kitty. Hey. Kitty! No! <laughs> no, kitty! No! Alright, uh, I've got the entire setup sorted. I decided to do all of it off camera because I do want to do the applied energistics this episode as well. Sweet! Alright, so I made the cow pit completely separate to the original cow pit we were, were using for this tree farm. Reason being, it was slowing down the woods and. Well, this, uh, the wood production, and we need lots of wood production for the steam turbine. So I, I'm breeding these cows currently again back to numbers, because there was a little bit of a catastrophe where we kind of had no cows, and the steam boilers uh, were dropping in temperature. Now, um, now, yeah, the cow numbers have gone up. Also, what I've done with the help of Voodoo Beard, VB, uh, he brought over some. Bye. Yay! Voodoo's gonna do a video. Uh, yeah, he brought over a lot of rotten flesh, and I uh, replaced all of his dirt with fertilized dirt. So all of his saplings are growing on fertilized dirt. Should be growing a lot faster than normal dirt, anyway. That's my hope, anyway. Uh, yeah, so got the harvester harvesting wheat off here. Doesn't really need to be too fast. Although I've got some fertilized dirt underneath here from random things, uh, as the name suggests, makes the things on top of it grow faster. Uh, yeah, the wheat's being sent. Pretty standard setup. I uh, got the cow farm over here. It's just breeding the cows right now. But pretty standard setup underneath here. Power via Tesseract. Uh, big reactors powering this via the Tesseract. <laughs> pretty simple in itself. Uh, got the items being sent from the chest up there to uh, seeds are being put in this planter. Wheat's being put in this chest before being sent into this breeder. This is just a little buffer. So wheat's being sent in here for the breeder, breed the adult animals every five minutes. Then got the slaughterhouse. So got a mob counter over here, and uh, currently this currently the slaughterhouse is being disabled via a redstone torch. But got a mob counter here. This counts plus one for every mob over there. And when it goes to 15 animals, then this slaughterhouse will turn on, and it will send meat into this meat packer or send the uh, meat uh, the meat packer will pack it into ingots which will go into with this redstone furnace and then the result will be sent into this chest into uh, cooked meat which will be good for us now what I've done is I've I've disabled the input for the redstone furnace so this uh, sorry no the slaughterhouse will hopefully build up with pink slime which we can go pick up later for the pink slime for the laser drill sweet pretty basic setup but it's gonna work well in my opinion but that's for another day oh no no this is not for another day this is done the laser drill is for another day I think we'll go finish up by working on the Emmy system because I do want to get that sorted right first of all I'm gonna go make a magnum torch because there don't seem to be many hostile as I said there don't seem to be many hostile mobs around at night but when 
if they do, I want a magnum torch to keep mobs away from this factory area. So I'll be back in a sec, I'm gonna go make a magnum torch. And... BAM! Magnum torch! Suck it, mobs, nowhere near me! Get away from me, mobs! Alright, okay, let's do a very, very quick AE system because this episode has taken quite a bit of time. So, let's see... We're going to need some controllers. I'd like to get the uh, full 7x7, seven seven, I think it's 7x7, seven seven. the full uh, hollow 7x7 seven seven cube up and running and then I'd like to get some of this stuff sorted. I don't know how many controllers I'll need for the AE system. And I don't know whether I want to put it underground or not. Most likely put it underground. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? This is where the power is. Uh, we could put the cube over here. I think we'll put the cube over here. Hmm. I'm deciding things right now. Um, mm. Oh, baby. Controllers. 64. Right. And then three of these. <laughs> Bugger. I don't have any more flux crystals. I've been growing our flux crystals because I think that uh, the pure flux crystals are a lot cheaper than the uh, the ones which you create with like the rest in it. Quartz and whatnot. I think it... Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the pure's more cheaper because you dedicate one sand and one crystal for two pure. Yep, definitely. Okay, I dug out a hole. <laughs> I dug out a hole right here. We're gonna have the uh, we're gonna have the thingy here, and as I said, underground. So we're gonna have it here. I dug a two bit around ah, uh, two wide gap around between uh, the walls and the very center of this cube and if my calculations are correct this should be 7x7 seven seven. yep that's 7x7 seven seven. let's go up 3 4 5 6 okay that's good and then it should be yeah 2 below the floor because when we look we'll only be able to look at it when we look down this top layer is going to be glass I'm, sh I'm still not sure what glass it's going to be but it's going to be glass I might, in the interim, I might actually raise the cube up one. It seems a little bit low. Um, it's not too bad. Nah, we'll keep it like this. The more underground, the better. Because the more maneuverability I think we'll have for the ME system. Sweet. Uh, controller. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, baby. It's glowing. I, I decided to go make a... I decided to go make a Tesseract. Because we'll need one eventually, so I just quickly made one. And then all we have to do is... Pop. 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 I'll, I'll have to go shift the Ender chest uh, set up later on. Do do do. Do 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 do. Fly over here. And then controller... Uh, we could just chuck the ME drive there for the moment and chuck all of our stuff there. Uh, interface can go... Pff, I don't know. There for the moment? Eh, sure. And then last of all, we can chuck this here and... Well, a little bit... There we go. And then this should be working. Yep, it's working 100%. Sweet, quick ME system. It is big. I'm gonna have to shift the rest of this stuff over later, but uh, it is in place, and we can go access it later on. I'm gonna have to do some fancy fying, like, off camera. But thank you guys so much for watching. That is another episode of the Resident Rise 3. It is 3 a.m., and I need to get this out at 10. So yeah, I am gonna go edit. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. If you have any suggestions on what you want me to do, then feel free to let me know. Apart from that, bye.